Hey, this is Tanisha, and this week we are working on challenge, abstract challenge 17 of 100. And the challenge this week was to use minimal color. So I used black and white, but I also added a little bit of matte titanium, which I end up loving in this piece. So that was the challenge for this one, minimal color, see, just to see what I could get with these other few colors. And so for those of you who are new here, I am doing a 100 abstract painting challenge. Really, I call them quick studies because the goal is to try different abstract, different methods you can use in your abstract paintings in order to, one, just keep growing and learning and keep, keep myself open to different ideas. But um, also I do it because it's fun, but I can say that I have truly grown by doing this challenge. I think the biggest thing that I've gotten out of this is not being afraid to mess up, being okay with starting over again or uh, painting over something. I think that has really helped me a lot because I, I did have that, I uh, had a bit of a problem there where I, I didn't want to mess up. And so this challenge has really helped me with that. Another thing I like to point out about this challenge is that I'm giving myself 15 minutes to do these quick studies because when I originally started the challenge, I was using, I was taking hours, sometimes two hours, even days to finish one of these. And so it didn't really sound like a quick study to me. But anyways, I hope you really enjoy the video and I'll definitely be explaining more about this piece as we move throughout the video. So by now, I have done a lot of adding paint, removing it, adding paint, removing it, which I actually end up liking a lot because it really helped that the paint kind of push itself to the back of the artwork. And as you can see, I'm putting in black again, but it's really starting to pop against that faded background, which I really, really love. And this is a really great way to build a focal point. If that's what you're in, you know intending to do you know some it's really looks good when the the focal point is very strong and the color is really popping up against whatever else it's around and so I didn't really realize I would get this effect but I just really love how how uh, blending those colors and, and kind of wiping them down in the background really helped them to really be in the background and as you see as we go through the rest of this painting, you'll see how this section I'm working on right now really ends up popping and just bringing your eye towards it even more just because it's a very high contrast situation going on here that I really end up loving.
So as I continue to work on this piece, you can see how that section here in the right lower hand corner is really popping against the background. It just really stands out and maybe for some it might stand out too much. Again, this isn't a finished painting, but just me practicing and playing around with ideas. And I really love what I found here and just the discovery of pushing and pulling and you know pushing colors to the background and pull you know making it making it stand out. So it was really just a lot of fun playing around with this piece and doing my favorite mark making. I love mark making. So I'm using a micron pen here. I've ruined so many of these lately. Just a tip. You definitely want to let your paint dry before you use your micron pens because they get clogged. And if anyone actually knows how to unclog one of these, please let me know. I haven't made any attempts yet to figure it out, but I've ruined so many of these by not being patient. <laughs> so if I can save anyone from that, that'd be great. Anyways, I'm really loving how the titanium mat, it's, it's there, but it's subtle. So this is really a minimal abstract palette. Um, and I think it looks really, really good. But definitely stay tuned to the end so that you can see the scan version of this piece because it always looks a lot better after I scan it. If you like this video and the tips that I give, please subscribe and like the video. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.